Hi everyone, hi Jenna, Stacy here, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about periodontal disease, better known as gum disease. Did you guys know that gum disease doesn't hurt? So people don't know that they have it. And gum disease is directly associated with multiple systemic diseases. Also, it's impossible to have a healthy body if you have an unhealthy mouth. And guess what, you guys? 75 to 80% of the population has gum disease. So what that tells me is that what we're currently doing to take care of our teeth isn't enough. We need to do more. What more can you do at home to keep your mouth healthier, which in turn is gonna keep your body healthier? I encourage you guys to just add a little few more things to your home care routine to keep your mouth that much healthier. So today I wanna to talk to you and tell you what my home care routines are and maybe that can help you improve your home care routine. So in the morning, I like to first start my morning off by brushing and using my tongue scraper. Then I go and enjoy my coffee and my breakfast. And afterwards I go use my water pick and then I floss and then I scrape my tongue again. Then I brush and I finish with a mouthwash. I do brush and floss throughout the day just because I can't stand to have stuff in between my teeth or have a dirty feeling mouth. At nighttime, my routine is to first start with my water pick, then I floss, then I brush, then I use my tongue scraper, and then I finish with mouthwash. And let me encourage you guys, one helpful tip is to do your teeth at night before you get exhausted. Once you're done eating dinner and you know that you're not gonna eat anymore, go do your teeth. Better to do it at night when you're um, not exhausted and do a better job. Because you guys, to do a good nightly routine on your teeth takes about 10 minutes. Yes, 10 minutes. That is what it takes to get your mouth as clean as possible before you go to bed. I encourage you guys to do it. And just a little side note, if you have not been flossing or water picking or brushing at the correct angle and you start doing these things, you will have some bleeding. And don't be alarmed, just keep going. You can do it. And as soon as you're able to, get in to see your dentist or your dental hygienist and they can help you out because healthy gums don't bleed. If you guys have any questions, please write them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. And please follow Hygienist Stacy for more helpful tips on how you can keep your mouth as healthy as possible. Take care, guys.